Okay, so you guys saw that I just made a latte and I had a nice slow morning, so I just finished it and I wanted to talk to you guys about the coffee brand that I love and I'm so grateful, you guys. I'm just so grateful for these companies that work so hard. These Most of them are small, well, all of them. I feel like almost every product in my house is a small family owned or individually owned business of somebody that had an issue, a health issue, took that health issue and turned it into something just remarkable, life changing. And I just feel like we're getting it from all ends at this point. And it is just my passion and my life mission to live a healthy lifestyle. And to me, health is everything and it's something that I'm willing to risk and make so many sacrifices for to have good products. And I think that it's unfair and sad that we have to live like this, but it's the way that the world is. And so it just is such a priority in our lifestyle. And so again, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So I do have the Breville Espresso Maker. I have to say I have like the lowest model. I didn't want anything touchscreen. I wanted something super classic. I actually like the look of this one the best and I feel like it's simple. I love it. I go to bed dreaming of it every morning and the second that I'm done with my coffee, I want another one and I'm so sad the experience is over. I have to tell you guys that that investment of that Breville machine, I would show it to you guys right now, but I haven't cleaned it. <laughs> There's just like coffee splatter everywhere and that would just show you guys that I'm human and that we live in this house, like the mess. So I don't wanna show you guys like the human side of me. No, I'm just kidding. But long story short, the Breville machine is totally worth the investment. Finding high quality coffee beans has been so important to me. And the one thing that I love about Instagram is I follow so many incredibly knowledgeable women on there who are just like me on this journey and who are educating and promoting products that um, are just, can you even see it or is it blurry? That are just high quality, period. And you still have to do your research and you still have to continue to do the research because these products and companies will change things and not even know. You know, there's so many brands that I've used that have changed formulas and I didn't know about it or didn't look into it. So you have to continuously look into it. But, so, Purity Coffee, they have the beans. They also have the, oh, it smells so good. It has this like, I don't know what it would be called. I'll show it to you guys. It's to like seal the freshness of the beans. I wish that you guys could smell this because it smells so good. And the crazy thing is that I do not drink coffee for energy. I drink it because I love the taste. I love the coffee flavor, so I love coffee ice cream. Um, really anything coffee flavored. What else is coffee flavored? I don't know, but I love coffee ice cream. So Purity Coffee, like I said, they have the beans and the espresso beans, and then they also have the K-cups, like the cups. I don't drink coffee like that, so I've never tried the cups, so I can't speak for them, but their Instagram page is a wealth of knowledge, and so you can go there to read more about it, but I'm just gonna tell you a couple things about coffee in general. So this one is Flow, it's the medium roast. I also have the decaf, which is really yummy too, because sometimes I feel like I want two cups a day and I don't wanna overload it, especially with breastfeeding and during pregnancy. This one is, they have, like I said, different ones. And this one is Flow, it's for overall health, physical and mental performance and increased mental focus. The taste profile is roasted nuts, dark chocolate, juicy apple-like high notes, and it is organic, you guys. So the thing that I learned about coffee that I did not know, which is why I wanted to get a high quality coffee bean, is that coffee beans, coffee in general, the quality can be really low grade. And one of the biggest concerns is mold. It's obviously really important. Nobody wants to be drinking things with mold on them. Mold, mold in it, on it, anywhere around it. Since it's organic, it's also free of pesticides. I saw somebody post 
yesterday and they reposted it that let me see if I can pull it up really quick that um okay they responded to someone's comment and said we knew pre-ground and commercial grade coffee has a laundry list of harmful things in it but we did not know cockroaches was one of them we saw another post talking about this issue as well absolutely horrible we promise that our coffee is 100 percent mold mycotoxin i think i'm saying that right pesticide and roach free so you guys you just never know i know that these things seem bougie to me it's not bougie to me it's just a, a high priority the water that my family and i are drinking the air that we're breathing the food that we're eating and the water that we're bathing in are just non-negotiables for me i will literally make any sacrifice in the world i'll wear the same clothes the next 20 years i will live in a box if i have to to make sure that i have these things because I don't know it's just it's just really really on my heart and it's okay if it's not for you but obviously it is because you're still listening you know it's so crazy I need to stop like apologizing for the things that I'm passionate about and just understand that the people that are also passionate about it or want to hear about it are gonna stick around and the ones that aren't aren't right I don't know but anyways that is just a product that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm always sharing things that have changed my life and inspired me and are aiding in my health and not deteriorating it you guys how cute is this brown lemon wooden bowl that i got i guess would you even call that a bowl i don't know off amazon it just came in it took a couple weeks but i got it in last night and i am obsessed i love it it's so cute i got that one from target a few years ago and i love it too i'm gonna be making some banana bread as you can tell today those gorgeous banana bread making bananas yeah i'll link it down below it's really good some of the reviews were a little bad but i feel like amazon has the best customer service so if anything's wrong you just send it back and get a new one but i love it i think it was only 30 bucks i can't remember because i ordered it a few weeks ago and it just is the cutest addition on my counter throw together some soup I have some yellow onion that I like sorry the shadow is really bad some zucchini and some summer squash some celery fresh garlic always some corn I'm gonna use hot Italian sausage and then I have some chicken broth obviously a ton of spices and everything I am gonna start by heating up my pan with some butter and then I'm gonna throw in all my vegetables then I'll throw in my garlic, the sausage. I feel like it'll be really easy and it's always really nice having leftovers.
Okay, so everything is cooked. I cooked the meat and the vegetables. You guys saw that. And then I added the chicken broth. I did 32 ounces. I think I might do a little more, but I can add it at the end. I'm going to take two cups of this. I'm going to put it in my Vitamix and blend it up and then add it back in. So I just added that back in and I'm going to add some heavy cream. Maybe I'll do like, let's start, let's start with a fourth. I'll do a fourth cup of heavy cream. Remember you guys, when you're cooking, you can always add more. You can't take it out. So, all right, let's stir her up. Okay, I definitely do not need more broth, if anything. This is perfect. Now, it depends. Do you like more filling or do you like it more soupy? I feel like lately I've been having more filling, so this time I wanted it to be more soupy, so I added less vegetables for just what I like, but this is, this looks perfect. I am now just gonna add some fresh parm over the top and dinner served. I feel like this would be really yummy with some fresh sourdough bread. I have some of that. 